As of March 8th, 2020, I have officially been off work. Sitting at home, watching the days by faster and faster, and I'm not okay with letting my life slip out of my hands without having something to say about it. The game devs obviously chose to focus on story, camera angles, voice acting, lighting work, all that sort of stuff, but you could have just as easily focused on complex networking, or multiplayer systems, or pathfinding algorithms, or whatever. While creating is an amazing thing, and at times feels like it's my life goal, none of that matters if the quality of my life is running into the ground. Where are you saying yes, where you could be saying no? Where can you make times for the most important things? And what are you going to do about it? So June was possibly my most successful month during quarantine. I set myself several lifestyle goals. If achieved, they would become good habits. And the thing about goals is they're goals. So sometimes they work out and sometimes they don't. This month, about half of my goals that I set for myself did end up working out. 30 minutes of exercise every day. Journal one page every day. Read one chapter of the Bible every day. Do evening devotions. And my biggest goal, no YouTube. With some exceptions for learning. A challenge I often face is committing to things I don't know the end result of. Or even worse, committing to things that I do know the result will end up with something that I'm not so happy with. For example, in my graduation year, I was naturally tempted to ease off of some of my friendships with my classmates because I knew that for some of us, the moment we stepped out the door on graduation day, we would never see each other again. This month, one of the challenges I faced was committing and going all in, even if the end result was less than ideal. And I think in the midst of all things coronavirus, there's a lot of situations where we don't know what the end will look like. Going back to school, going on trips, and so on. So I challenge myself, what does it look like to go all in with releasing a video game or making a YouTube video, even if no one's gonna buy it or watch it in the end. In this time of setting myself all of these goals, I found this topic especially relevant, often asking myself, is it really worth it to do all of this? And I'm here to tell you, yes, we aren't in control of anything other than ourselves. We can't control the world, we can't control the weather, and we can't control other people. Our influence on the world comes from our actions. So, what actions will you choose? I challenge you to live your life to the fullest, even if you don't know what comes next. If we live our lives scared about what's around the corner, you could miss out on a whole world of opportunity of things that are totally within your reach. This month, some of my biggest goals were to produce four YouTube videos and one video game. And getting back into this level of creating again has been so amazing, and I can't wait to tell you all about it soon. Don't forget, if you take the leap, some amazing things could happen. But that's all from me, friends. I'm iChomo, keep creating, and enjoy the ride. These ends I can know what I can know. See, I can't promise you much. But I'm by the sea. And I can't promise you things. But I can promise you these.